Kylie Jenner is being called out after launching yet another brand, and even her own fans are getting sick of these constant launches. It's a mess, so let's get into it. It's no secret that the Kardashians have ventured into pretty much every category of business possible. At the start of their careers, they were trying anything and everything. It was very clear that they weren't doing things that they were actually passionate about and were more so doing things that would stick for the moment until the next best thing came along. Everything was very short-lived and it wasn't until recent years that they finally settled into specific ventures that actually fit their interests. We had Kylie with her Kylie Cosmetics brand, Courtney with her vitamins, Kendall with modeling, and then 818, Kim and Skims, and Chloe with Good American. It feels like each sister has really found their niche that they're at least a little bit passionate about. And of course, some of them still have other businesses like Kim relaunching her cosmetics brand. But for the most part, they're all very settled into these brands. One car Jenner that seems to be still figuring things out though is Kylie Jenner. Recently, Kylie has been facing a ton of backlash for her constant launches and new businesses in such a short period of time. I feel like Kylie was one of the first of all the sisters to finally launch a business that was actually super successful and actually made sense for her. Kylie Cosmetics felt very organic for her, and even though there have been some lows, overall she's been very successful with her business. She eventually opened up Kylie Skin and Kylie Baby, and once again, although there were some lows, the brand still made sense. She seemed passionate about them at the start, but over time, it feels like that passion has faded and now we know why. Kylie has been working on many, many brands behind the scenes, and some people are saying that it's overwhelming and way too much. In the span of five months, Kylie launched an entire new brand of her clothing line called Kai. She's since had four drops under it. She's now launched a new fragrance line called Cosmic. And before Cosmic even had the chance to have its moment, she launched yet another brand. It looks like Kylie is following in Kendall's footsteps and entering into alcoholic beverages. Okay. Chloe is trying Sprinter for the first time. Love it. I'm so this excited. Is really special. I will say, we have I don't know how I am on vodka these days, but remember, I used to be a beast. And like I, Russell. I do. That's yeah. why I know you have okay, it in good. you. Peach, black cherry, lime, grapefruit. I love Grape all those oh, flavors. Kid talk. If you want something on, a little bit sweeter, I'd go over here. Okay. These black are a cherry more and peach. And then citrusy. Black cherry may be my number one right now it changes often Ooh. so do you want to try black cherry yeah let's do that Cut. yum in the midst of promoting her perfume, she casually dropped a promotional video for her new brand called Sprinter. Sprinter is going to be a vodka soda brand, and this is what Kylie had to say about it. Sprinter is my answer to the growing consumer demand for quality canned cocktails. Not only does Sprinter have a unique, bold branding that captures the feeling of fun with your friends, it is also the best tasting vodka soda I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot. I can't wait for people to taste it for themselves. The drink is going to come in four flavors, which is black cherry, peach, grapefruit, and lime, and they're going to retail for $19.99 for a pack of eight. Now, looking at the branding for Sprinter on Instagram and their website, absolutely nothing about it is screaming, this is Kylie Jenner's brand. I just don't think anyone would look at these cans or the brand's identity and connect it back to Kylie. A cosmetics brand for Kylie makes sense. A fast fashion, cheap looking clothing brand for Kylie makes sense. Even a perfume makes sense. But a canned vodka soda? I mean, if she really wanted to go down that path, I feel like even a wine would have made more sense. What the hell is going on with Kylie's PR team lately? But first we have Kai, where we've dropped like three different clothing collections that have absolutely nothing to do with each other and really nothing to do with her. Then we have this, a new vodka soda brand? What does a vodka soda have to do with Kylie? The only time Kylie's even really been associated with alcohol is I feel like that tequila video. But Kendall already has that, so I guess they can't do that. There's no branding even like to say this is theirs? Are they just investing in this company? Is this her company? I know their Instagram is still new right now, but it's only on just over 20,000 followers and you can see why. The branding is so bad and basic and maybe that's what Kylie wants. Maybe she doesn't want people to connect the brand back to her, but then I'm like, why even bother doing it? I mean, look at Kendall with 818. Even though there's a lot to criticize her on with that brand, at least she seems semi-passionate about it. 
It feels more personal, like she actually has a part in the brand, and you can tell who she's marketing to. She has high quality pictures that follow a certain aesthetic, and she does seem pretty involved with the brand. Then we have Sprinter. And yes, I know it's still new, but we aren't talking about a small business startup. This is a billionaire's brand and we're not off to the best start and Kylie is being called out over it. A lot of people are saying that she's doing way too much, launching way too many brands instead of focusing on one or two and really mastering them. We had people writing, okay, so Friday was clothing, Monday is perfume, Tuesday is vodka soda. What garbage will they try to sell us tomorrow? How much passion and years of work went into this? Too saturated. I can't keep up with the Kardashians and all the different they're selling. A mediocre makeup brand, a skin brand, baby brand, a clothing line that doesn't make sense, a perfume, and now this. I get it, I do, but why not just focus on one thing and make it able to stand on its own before starting something else? And that's what I've never understood about Kylie. I think she had something really good going with Kylie Cosmetics, but over time, it felt like she lost touch with her own brand. She seemed so passionate about it at the start, but in the last few years, even the brand's identity on Instagram has been all over the place. It wasn't until just like the last year or so that she kind of had a little bit of a rebrand and things started to feel exciting again. I feel like we all went years without anything from Kylie Cosmetics really sticking and becoming a staple that was widely talked about, and recently that's been changing. Kylie has launched a few exciting products in the last year, but with all these new brands constantly coming out, things quickly become oversaturated and judging by her comments, even her fans are feeling burnt out. I mean, to launch a whole new brand in an entire new category that you've never ventured into before when you're in the middle of your first fragrance launch is wild. One person commented about the potential taste of Sprinter and said, probably tastes like the leftover perfume. You guys, I'm serious. This, like I, I'm not a huge drinker these days, believe it or not, but I love this because it's light and it's not super vodka overpowering. But I only had a couple sips and I still feel like, ooh. These are really good flavor. Now, speaking of this perfume, I want to know if you guys have smelt it yet because I've been seeing so many mixed reviews. I don't know what I was expecting, but personally, I think it smells like a cheaper version of Good Girl. I'm not a fan. To me, it smells a little bit headache inducing. And I know perfume smell is subjective and it smells different on everyone. But so far, there have been a lot of not so good reviews. Ooh, I don't know what to expect. Okay, hold on. Oh, my first impression is that this is actually lovely. Definitely Baccarat Rouge 540 inspired, but different. It's got a freshness to it that Baccarat doesn't have. Oh my gosh, this is like sweet meets clean. Hold on. Oh. Well, it's different on my skin. Mm. Damn it. It's completely different. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it at all. At all. I tried this today and everyone is lying to you. Everyone is lying to you. Don't get me wrong. It smells really good. If you if you like like Viva La Juicy and shit, which again, I used to love Viva La Juicy, but it's not like a unique scent, you know, like I still like Viva La Juicy, but for people to be like, I, it's just like for Kylie, like with her money, Come on, like give me like a Delina exclusive type of shit. Like give me something worth my money, not something I've smelled 5,000 times. But of course it's subjective and someone may hate it while you might think it's the best perfume you've ever smelt. Very fine, it's really nice. Oh my gosh, it's really good. I honestly know that it's good because I keep smelling it like a maniac. Honest review is that it smells like a hot chick. It smells like if you saw someone really hot, what you think they would smell like. But overall, a lot of people just think Kylie is coming up with way too many brands and drops in such a short period of time. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time.